you want to spray it with epoxy, we're going to put one coat of epoxy primer on it. And this specific Eastwood uh, epoxy primer, you know, it mixes one to one. We're using a, uh, a cup there. And uh, what one to one means is just one part primer, epoxy primer to one part catalyst. And then mix one to one as mentioned in the video, one part epoxy to one part catalyst. Now the good thing about this epoxy is there's no induction time. In now there is an option that they provide on their technical data sheet, and that is if you can add up 20% urethane reducer. So if you're just spraying this to put primer surfacer on top, you just mix one to one. But if you're uh, spraying it as a primer sealer and you're gonna be putting your top coat, your base coat on top of that, you want that to flow out a little bit better. So uh, you'd use the reducer to help that flow. So here's a quick example of how you would uh, reduce that. You'd go ahead and mix it one-to-one -one like you normally would. Let's say you mix 14 ounces of primer to 14 ounces of catalyst. That would be 28 ounces of product. So you'd multiply 28 times 20% and that would be 5.6, so roughly five and a half ounces a reducer could be applied to it to help it flow out better. Now also keep in mind that you need to be careful. You know, you don't want to mix it up and go to lunch and, you know, wait too long because you got about 90 minutes and that stuff could start gelling up, start getting uh, hard in your paint gun. Now, if you're using HVLP spray gun, uh, they recommend a, a fluid tip of 1.4 to 1.8. And uh, if, it, if you're spraying it as a sealer, you have the reducer in there and you're going to be top coating on top of that with your base coat i would use uh, go towards the 1.4 however if you're spraying thicker just the one to one mixing ratio i would use the bigger tip because it's going to be thicker i'd use more like the 1.8 the they also recommend the inlet pressure being 25 to 30 psi uh, this is going to depend on the gun you're using so you might check with your gun manufacturer as well you want to apply this epoxy primer with medium wet coats uh, usually one to two coats is is good uh, you need to wait 30 minutes between coats. If you do need to apply additional coats, you can do that, but be sure to allow extra time, uh, dry time between coats. So you can apply your top coat within about 30 minutes, allow it to flash for 30 minutes. If you put more than two coats, you need to wait 45 to 60 minutes. But the good thing about epoxy is you have a really long window. So you have up to five days to put your top coat on, whether that's your primer surfacer or your base coat. If it's more than five days, it's, it loses its chemical adhesion and you're going to have to give it a mechanical adhesion by sanding it. So you'll have to scuff it up if it is longer than five days. And uh, they say to let, if you're going to be wet sanding, you need to let it dry a day after you applied it. However, you need to wait two or three days before dry sanding. 